we are starting chapter 2 polynomials for class 10th and this is the introduction video for polynomials so what is a polynomial any mathematical expression of the type a n x raised to power n plus a n minus 1 x raised to power n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x raised to power n minus 2 so on up to a 0 is called a polynomial for a class 10 student, this explanation, this expression may look a bit difficult. But my ideology of teaching is that if you are learning something, you should learn in the best possible manner. Because once you learn something, you can't unlearn it. Okay. So, the IT stuff, I'll make it easy for you. Okay. So, first of all, let us understand what are these an, an minus 1 a n minus 2 and so on. What are these terms? These are all real numbers only. Okay, so you know what are real numbers? Chapter 1 is about real number only. All rational numbers or irrational numbers are called real numbers. So these a n, a n minus 1, a n minus 2 up to a 0 are nothing but real numbers. Okay, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or square root 2, square root 3, square root 5 or any decimal term. Hmm? The only restriction is on this first constant this first constant can't be equal to zero okay now let us come to this term now x raised to power n x raised to power n minus 1 x raised to power n minus 2 and so on what are these n n minus 1 n minus 2 these are all natural numbers so the power of x is a natural number it can't be anything else it can't be in decimals it can't be in square root negative number it should be a natural number only i think you got it and once you get this expression it is called a polynomial of degree n i'll give you an example so first of all this an i have to choose let us say i chose this an as 3 okay and then x raised to power let us say 5 okay and then plus now next a i'll choose another constant let us say this time i chose 2 and then x raised to power 1 less than this so 4 okay therefore it is written like this and minus 1 then i'll choose another constant this time i'll choose 0 no problem and then x raised to power 1 less that is x cube the next one I am choosing, next constant I am choosing minus 5. No problem. Then x raised to power 1 less, that is 2. Another constant, another real number I will choose, root 2. It is an irrational number. And then x raised to power 1. We need not write x raised to power 1. And then last I will choose a0, that is this last constant and let me choose it as 4 so this is a polynomial now you can see the highest power of x is 5 okay this number 5 is called the degree of this polynomial so the highest power of x is called the degree of the polynomial all this a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 a n minus 3 and so on these are constants right all real numbers okay one more thing here you can easily avoid writing this 0 into anything is 0 itself so you can avoid writing this so our polynomial is 3x5 plus 2x4 minus 5x square plus 2 2x plus 4 isn't it a polynomial of degree 5 i hope you got it just this number can't be 0 other than this any number any constant can have any real number value so let us proceed further now this is example 1. So in example 1 you can see I have taken 5x. So what is the highest power of x? 1 only. In 5x, highest power of x is 1 only. So its degree is 1. Similarly here, 4x plus 3, the highest power of x is 1. So polynomial of degree 1. Similarly here, in place of x, we can use any other variable like y, z, w, t and so on. So 7y raised to power 1 plus 9. 
So again, since the highest power of y is 1, so degree is 1. Here we can see this is the real number multiplied by x raised to power 1, then another real number, so highest power of x is 1. Any polynomial of degree 1 is called linear polynomial. Linear polynomial, right? Linear polynomial. So if we try to draw a graph for this, it will be a straight line. How to draw a graph for it? Uh, for this, what you have to do? You have to put this polynomial equal to y, right? For example, this y is equal to 5x. So on graph, if you try to draw it, if you take x1, y will be 5. x1, y will be 5. So you'll get a point here. Then if you put x2, y will be 5 to the 10 x2, y10, a point here somewhere. And if you put x0, y will be 5 into 0, that is 0. And if you join all these three points, you'll get a straight line, right? So that we'll do in the second video. Uh, that's why it is called a linear polynomial because we get a line if we try to draw this in graph. Any linear polynomial is of, is of type ax plus b, right? So, here a should not be 0 and it can have any real number value. For example, in this case it is root 3, in this case it is 7, in this case it is 4, in this case it is 5. And this b can have any value, like here b is 0, that's why b is not there, plus 0 it is, here it is 3, here it is 9, here it is minus 7, okay. So, you got the meaning of linear polynomial. Now, next one. Now here you see the highest power of x is 2. So instead of calling it highest power, I'll call it as degree. So degree of x is 2. Also we have x raised to power 1, but the highest power we have to see. Similarly here, the highest power of i is 2. So degree is 2. Here also the degree is 2. Here also the degree is 2. Here also the degree is 2. So variable may change. It may be x, y, z, v, t, anything, but the highest power of the variable should be 2 and such a polynomial is called quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial okay any quadratic polynomial is of type ax square plus bx plus c where this first constant can't be 0 other than 0 it can have any real number value and b and c have no restrictions they can be any real numbers so in this case, a is 2, b is minus 8, c is 5, here a is 1, and we can't find b here, isn't it? It means b is 0, and c is minus 2, correct? Here a is minus 1, why? Because the coefficient of x square is a. b, that is coefficient of x is root 3, and c, that is constant is 2. Here coefficient of z square is 4, it is a z we can't find so coefficient of z is 0 of course therefore it is invisible isn't it <laughs> if 0 into z is there then it is equal to 0 and as explained in the first example we need not write it therefore you can't find z here it means the coefficient is 0 and c is 1 by 7 okay so quadratic polynomials when draw graphically when they are drawn graphically, they usually form a shape called parabola, like this, or they may be like this, okay? They'll form a parabola, okay? Now, third one, Sorry. cubic polynomial. So, any cubic polynomial means a polynomial of degree 3, that is the highest power should be 3. So see here, 3x cube, then 2x square, then minus 8x plus 5. 2y cube minus 5, highest power is 3. 2 minus x cube, highest power is 3. Here the highest power is 3, and here also the highest power is 3. Mm -hmm. And now any cubic polynomial is of the form ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus t. Okay, and this a should not be 0, and a, b, c, d can have any real number values. Okay, got it? Right. So, this is the basics of polynomials. 
In the next video, we'll do exercise 2.1. Thank you.